Hello and uh, welcome back. Today a little update. I'm reorganizing the lab, but I started with putting some drawers here of my cleaning stuff because before it was in sort of crates and I didn't have any space to move. But then I wanted to put also my devices different and then from one came the other and I just need more space or less equipment but I don't think that is an option um, yeah let me show you I'm really at the point of no return I need to change everything because it is one big mess I don't know what I've started so everything is everywhere and I'm not finished at all sorry for the shaking And some more here. And this needs to be a lot, lot different. So this is the other side of the lab that you usually not see. This is the back of all my kitlis and the wooden rack here. And this also needs to be organized a, a lot uh, better. And sometimes people ask me, I, I saw that you have a video about, for instance, uh, HP, the 5300 series frequency counters these uh, little modular ones. Can you uh, search a component for me because I can't uh, read it? Well, let me show you if I turn. I would love to do that, but I have many, many, many boxes everywhere. And this HP is now in the bottom here. So I need to get rid of all the boxes to the dirt. So that's why those questions usually take uh, a lot of time. Okay, it's starting to look better. Try to organize a little bit. It's equipment I don't use at the moment. It's a HP area there. Power supplies. Someone said you can never have too many power supplies. Well, tomorrow we continue. So it is day two. I don't think it improved too much, only where I uh, store some of my things I don't use at the moment. It uh, is a lot more work than I uh, thought it would be, uh, but uh, I'm getting there. Yeah, we can have a little look here. It's still full, full, full. Also, I like to change. I have also a radio hobby and well, most of them I don't even use and now I have a lot of radio stored also in the back here and it would be nice to have those there and maybe some of the other radios in the back. I'm also collecting them so I don't mind not using them but they should not take a sort of primary space. So I will change that also and we can have a look now at the storage area because that improved a lot already. Well this is the other side behind the, the wooden uh, 19 inch rack this still needs to be done but if we go around the corner well this is my plan to store things like this and uh, the stuff that i don't use too much maybe just goes downstairs and then i can clearly see what i have when i want to use it when i want to make a video to show you that part of the collection so we continue so the storage area is now completed. Organized everything. All the old Philips there. Few power supplies. Much better to find. Here I have just some bags and boxes. Also boxes to build. Much better. So, day three, the start. I feel really good about when I walk up. When I walk up into my attic, and it all looks amazingly well organized. Everything where it should be. Well, I have some work here to organize this a bit in the back. But then I came here and then... Oh, the 
so much more to do. And well, the storage area is ready, but the lab itself is still a terrible mess. And in the radios here, I need to organize a lot more. I have a lot more space now. And uh, well, the radios that are in the back there, there, they need to go on the shelves as well. End of uh, day three. Most of it is connected. I do want to have a main power switch, so I can't switch it on yet. Here I have more space also behind there. Fume extractor, microscopes. Here not much has changed, but the change is here. Much more space for my soldering iron. The power supply is there in the bottom. I removed some of the kidleys to have a nice space for my resistors there. And I rearranged the rack here. A lot of stuff went down that I don't use. But I still need to connect it in the back. I want to use power strips that I can switch on and off. So I'm almost there. It's Friday afternoon. I didn't make any progress during the week at all. It was uh, busy in the office. Um, yeah, what I want to do now is usually I have this loose screen here with, and I need to put it on a chair and then after I'm done I need to take away the screen and I want to have something permanent because I have two PCs here, one for the Tektronic field software and one is Windows 10 just for general uh, GPID stuff and so I was thinking putting a rec console so it's a keyboard with a uh, with a screen that you can fold together and then slide it in. It's only one high, so it should fit exactly here. And then I can take it out and fold it open. And then I don't need that screen. So that is perfect. Usually I have Dell. You can see I have Dell screens, Dell computers. But the Dell rec consoles are always very deep because they have their own racks and their racks are like one meter deep. And that is way too much because I only have, uh, I think, 50 or 60 centimeters. So I found one from HP on eBay. It is, uh, it is new, but it was very cheap because it's Italian keyboard layout, which is almost like US. It's just a QWERTY, only the special characters. But the special characters, I don't mind because usually it's indoors anyway. So let's see if it fits. I hope it does. And... Uh, another space saver. That is a pity. It doesn't fit, so I need to make a little bit more space here and here. I need to cut half a centimeter. It is a super tight fit. But the hooks that are here on the side, I, uh, I need. So I will keep that. And also, I can cut a little bit of the rails here. I need to cut six centimeters. Then I can drill a hole, and then I can fix it in the bed, in the back on the same. That's perfect. And uh, but uh, it just needs half a centimeter more. So if I make here space, just a little bit here and here.
So that was it. It took a lot of time, a lot more than I expected. But I'm uh, very happy with the result and of course a very extensive lab tour will follow. Thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.